Hello guys, welcome to Aroma Artisans. Getting straight to topic today, we're going to talk about raw materials. Today's raw material is ethyl maltol. As usual, the first question would be, what the hell is ethyl maltol? Ethyl maltol, as you can see here, is a powder. It comes in this powder form. I have quite a lot of it here because I love this. If you are a gourmand lover, you will love ethyl maltol. It basically, just as powder would smell like burnt sugar. And uh, what I have done with ethyl maltol is, I made a 10% solution in this bottle. But the problem with this bottle was, the corners have started rusting. And so has the inner lining. So recommendation do not put diluted ethyl maltol in an aluminium container so the workaround for this was i have these 10 ml bottles again if you see i have ethyl maltol at 10 percent in this it smells like burnt sugar or cotton candy as um, anyone else would say also getting to other information about ethyl maltol uh, its odor strength is considered to be high when we say odor strength is considered to be high it can very easily take over or overpower the raw materials in your recipe then we have uh, recommended smelling according to multiple websites the recommended smelling strength of ethyl maltol is five percent that is what they say I have it at 10 you might like it at 30 you might like it at 50 you might like it at 1% it's a very subjective thing but 10% um, is potent I can say that because every time I spray this on myself and if someone walks by the room like for example when my dad walks by he's like something's burning and I'm like no that's burnt sugar ethyl maltol now it's very interesting, he walks by and he says, ethyl maltol, I'm like, yeah, ethyl maltol. Um, on many websites, when you read about ethyl maltol, you will also read that it is a flavoring agent. That does not mean that if you get ethyl maltol from any supplier, you just take it and taste it. You should actually check with the supplier if ethyl maltol that you have purchased is food grade or not. I don't recommend it because I'm using it in perfumes then we also talk about uh, ifra according to ifra you must be asking what the hell is ifra uh, ifra i shall make a different video and let you guys know what exactly ifra is ifra says you can use this unrestricted so ethyl maltol is unrestricted uh, under ifra ratings uh, the other things that you would uh, want to know about ethyl maltol yeah it smells very caramelic very jammy uh, the closest that you can understand ethyl maltol is in case you have got to smell uh, baccarat rouge 540 from mason francis Kurchan. i have not got the opportunity to smell baccarat rouge the original but i have got the opportunity to smell clones and for me to my nose Ethyl maltol is the majority stakeholder of Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, what else would you need to know? So the reason I made I made this video and would be making other raw materials uh, based videos is for a new uh, perfumer who is I would consider a beginning to learn perfumery kind of person. All you need to know is exactly how does it smell and how long it would last and how powerful the raw material is rather than giving you all details like this is the cast number, this is the molecular weight, etc, uh, etc, et or this is the molecular structure. All that is too technical for beginners to get into. I would rather say just pick up ethyl maltol, get a sample, maybe 5 grams, 10 grams if you can, maybe 25 grams use this material if you are a gourmand lover because this does wonders i would not consider this as um, 
something like calone which is a nuclear bomb when you spray it because calone we will discuss that later this is powerful but it would probably die down as a top note in an hour or so at least to my nose but it performs it performs 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 it changes your scent in such a nice way it sweetens your perfume i recently uh, tried the mix of ethyl maltol with uh, hedion it was nice i also tried uh, the mix of ethyl maltol with rose and that was very interesting uh, some blends would be coming out very soon with ethyl maltol and also very high chances that just ethyl maltol also will be available so keep in touch keep following aroma artisans to get more info about what is being launched what is already launched you can visit the website the link is mentioned below we are also on instagram and we have our website we are also on facebook so yes uh, i will definitely come with more videos about other raw materials as well have a very nice fragrant day ahead see you guys take care